Okay, dokey. Here we have a Matsoi Teletext TV in its uh, model. Let's see if I can get it on camera first. It's a model 1420T, and this is probably the most standard TV you could get. Well, this is the one. Well, this TV I got from my dad's work, and okay, here we have a very small but very standard. Dude. Matsoi Teletext T1, well, Teletext 1420T CRT TV. Now, the main reason why I got this down is because I want to get it unlocked, and I've been on many sites, many discussion sites, and looked all over Google and things like that, and they say you need to do it this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way, that way, this way. Well, I've tried it with the power button, tried it with the volume up and down whilst pressing the power button, like that, and oh, no luck. They even said something about removing a clock uh, battery on this this model. Well, I can't find a battery. Well, if uh, you guys have any ideas of how I can get this thing open, unlocked, it would be good because. I will need to start using a TV and that one up there will need to be used as a monitor very soon because that one's getting put back with another computer which I've taken a video of a couple of days ago. Now this TV when I put it in storage was just showing a blue screen with a passcode lock and I've not been able to get the bloody thing unlocked. Well this the tube itself uh, this thing here the glass CRT is actually made by all Orion and it was made on the 19th of May 2001 so this thing is 12 years old and it's a very standard TV all you have is a aerial card port so if you've got a TV aerial but they don't work anymore because they've changed it to something 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 can't remember uh, free view now so you can't just plug it into the antenna on your roof you have to use a certain box or something so I think these are obsolete now over here in the UK I could be wrong I can't actually remember what they've done with the uh, Things I know you have to do something because satellites don't work or whatnot. Um, and you got your SCART input, and that's just about it on this TV. I think much to them really. Uh, they've also got a headphone jack which you can plug your headphones in and listen to the TV. Why you would do that, I don't know. Now, this TV, if we can't get it unlocked. Unfortunately, it might have to be taken down the dump. Well, if it does happen to come to the end of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be taking all the recyclable metal, which is this, this, this that, and that. I'm also going to be taking the yoke, the wire, except for that one, because that might not be great. Uh, well, I'll take all the wire. Even the input wire coming from the mains, this one here. Um, even the wires going to the speakers, I'll take them. I will also be taking this black cable thing here, where it's where this white tape is. There you go, you can see it. That is an earth strap, I think. I could be wrong, but it is made of copper and I will be taking the following as well see if I can get it up high enough that is a small laminated transformer with an iron core or ferrite core and that one as well that one's got a ferrite core as well I'm also going to be taking this little doohickey thing I'm going to find it this copper round little resistor and this flyback is I've always wanted to see if I could get one of these things to fire up. And I think that's it. The only thing that's going to raise concerns to me is the risk of this glass actually, well, the risk of this 
TV actually exploding because I've blown up a few CRTs in my lifetime with uh, hammers and uh, there was a small oscilloscope that had everything cut to it, had all the front of it smashed in and I used my hammer and I gave it a bloody good old good old whack right in dead centre of the screen and it shot glass everywhere and uh, I'm quite surprised I didn't go blind um, yeah I'm not sure if I was to take this yoke off the copper yoke if it would actually make the CRT explode um, I could be wrong but yeah I might sell the fly back on eBay or something if I can get it off the board in one piece. Let's have a look at the circuit boards. So what I'll do is I'll reassemble the thing and then I will show you what it does. Okay, we are now plugged in. Let's switch her on. And that's all it does. I'll try doing the following. Rapidly pressing the power on button. That's got me to a snow background but with the still the same post pipe pin code and whatnot. Um I've tried rapidly pushing these two, channel volume up and down, channel up and down as well. That's got me nowhere. I've tried pushing the power button for 10 seconds whilst pushing these four, but we've tried it different ways and things like that. Um, oh, it's just not, it's just not worth it, really. I mean, it's a shame that it's keep it's working. It's just fucked, really. And uh, that's it. Well, see what the deal is. If we can't get it unlocked, it's going to the dump. I'm going to get the recycle out of it before I do that.